Oh my god, I'll tell you one of my March least favorites, and that is tampons. They're just so uncomfortable. Usually you can sit however you want, but all of a sudden you sit cross-legged on your bed and it's like you're being stabbed in the uterus. <sighs> Hey guys, it's Jerry, and it is now April, which means let's talk about March. So March is actually my least favorite month in the entire year, I have to say. Every year it comes and goes, and I always hate it. It's just sucky. I mean, there are a few days in there that are like great and fun, like usually my school musicals were in March, and Easter was in March this year, so of course love some of the days but just the month as a whole hate it here in maryland the weather is like like no one ever knows what's really going on so it's either cold or warm or humid or hail but there have been a few things this month which have just kept me alive and going and just trucking so here they are my march favorites let's do this I don't know why I always move my arms so weirdly when I get nervous. Okay, so definitely one of my favorite things from this past month was the body shop. And if you guys watch my cruelty-free makeup video haul, you'll know that I started um, shopping for cruelty-free products. So I've spent a lot of time in the body shop. One of my favorite things to get makeup wise is definitely lipstick. So that was like a must. And when I saw the body shop's collection of lipsticks, I was so happy and thrilled. I have this dark like mauve color I'm wearing right now, which just like goes great with anything. And I think it's a pretty wintry color too, but it works in the spring. And then I got this color the other day, which is just super springy, pop of color, throw it on and you know you're gonna have a good time. Probably ordering Domino's and watching Gilmore Girls because that is my idea of a good time, am I right? Another product that they sell that I really like that I don't have at the moment is the Cocoa Butter Chapstick. My mom bought it and it smells amazing, it tastes amazing, and it makes your lips feel amazing. And I have a real problem with like biting off my lip skin and everything, so it's really nice when I have a good chapstick. So I know a bunch of hippy dippy people say coconut oil is like the save all healing powerful like antioxidant thing and I don't want to like be like one of those people because I feel like you guys wouldn't take that person seriously but I am being serious when I tell you that coconut oil is amazing. I have KP which I can't pronounce so I'm just gonna leave down the scientific name down there but it's called KP and it basically just means like I get these like weird pimply like bumps all over my arms and legs and it was always an insecurity for me while growing up like I didn't want to wear t-shirts or shorts or anything because I like didn't want my KP to show so I've been like trying to find things to fix it forever and guys coconut oil fixed it my arms are as smooth as a baby's freaking butt I just like lather this all over my arms and legs like when I'm out of the shower and I'm telling you the blemishes just go away and my arms are so smooth and like they just feel healthier and my skin is like tighter and also I've heard that like eating coconut oil is like good for you too and if you have like uh, problems down in the genitalia area then this also helps so it's just pretty much good for everything and now I am one of those hippie people that say that coconut is the most like powerful thing on earth sue me while we're on the cruelty free product train I have also been loving lush so much and I showed this in my cruelty free video haul but this is the best stuff ever it is the beautiful shower gel look how empty it is that's just because I use it so much it smells great it looks great and you can tell there's like glitter at the bottom so it makes you shine when you come out of the shower which I am a big fan of and my last product I have is a basic thing it's Burt's and Bees pomegranate chapstick now this is not my favorite Burt's Bees chapstick my favorite is the um, is the healing kind because I told you guys I have a problem when I pick my lips like I'll pick them so much to the point where they like bleed and it's bad um, so the healing kind I really like because it really heals my lips. Um, this is good for like giving you a little pop of color and like chapstick as well. And then I also love like the coconut flavor and the original flavor. I just love Burt's Bees. They are the best chapsticks ever and ever. 
My next favorite is something you guys have already seen and I've already kind of mentioned. It's my glasses. Um, I don't know when I got these exactly. It definitely wasn't in March, but I have not um, stated how much I love them yet and I thought this video would be a great time for that. I have had the same pair of glasses since I was 12 and I was like, crap, I need new glasses and a new prescription. So I went to the eye doctor and my prescription had only changed like a little bit thankfully so I wasn't like hurting my eyes with the other glasses. And then they like took me around to like show me the glasses that my eye doctor had and I was like oh my god these are so cute. Tried them on $300. So I went online looking at stuff like I usually do and I found iBuyDirect com and this site was amazing and this isn't a sponsorship or anything I'm just telling you how amazing this site is they let you put your picture in the computer so then when you hover over the glasses you like it'll like virtually let you try them on and when you go on this site they do have glasses that are super expensive I'm not gonna lie there are some there that where I was like oh these are so cute yeet that price though these these beauties which I love so much were nine dollars guys and then of course there's gonna be like the shipping and handling fees and like the processing fees and stuff like this but it like totaled out being like twenty dollars for glasses that I'm going to wear for a very long time. Now, this is a favorite which has really been helping me through the month of March. I, it's my roommate Sarah Hanna's ukulele and I just sat down with it a couple weeks ago because I really wanted to film a singing video without having to bring anyone else in to play the instrument. Um, which I ended up doing the Moon River cover if you want to check it out. Yeah, I just sat down and started practicing with this thing and it just made me really happy and so yeah this has been my favorite thing this month. Would you like a little sneak peek at the next song you might be hearing from me? I'm gonna assume yes. Oh, I was scared of dentists and the dark Oh, I was scared of handsome boys and starting conversations Oh, all my friends are turning green Moving on, my next favorite this month has been overalls so many overalls I I got the need all of a sudden in March to get as many pairs of overalls as possible but I really did I saw like a picture of Rowan Blanchard like on Twitter like walking with her friend and she was wearing overalls and I was like oh my god I need overalls so that might have been the root of my problem so um, in my lap I have my regular pair of overalls um, which are just Oh, no, that's not them. This is another pair. One second. This is my regular pair, which I got from Old Navy. They're boyfriend jean overalls, which I love because they're like loose all over the place and comfortable and they're ripped. So I'm totally cool. People have been asking me like where I got these overalls because wherever they see them, like overalls are so expensive. Like when I was looking online for overalls, every pair I saw was so expensive, which is completely ridiculous. And Old Navy happens to be selling these overalls. I think originally they were $40, but when I got them they were on sale for like $20, and then I also had like a $15 gift card, so I got these for $5, and it was amazing. Before I found those overalls though, I was in Forever 21 one day, and I was just like, I was like, I need overalls, I just, I need them. Um, and I was walking around and I couldn't find like a normal pair anywhere. Like Forever 21, I love you, but your overalls are whack. And the only pair that I really found that I liked at Forever 21 was this overall dress, which I just think is so cute. I will insert a picture of me wearing them right now. I love this dress. My only problem with it is that I wear it too much, so people have started judging me. <laughs> And my final pair of overalls, um, they're pajama overalls. <laughs> okay, honestly, I think these are great because look, they're cute, there's a pocket to put your phone, um, they're, I, I like them, okay? It's not like I spent a lot of money for these. I got them on Aerie, and oh, live, love Aerie. They would be in my March favorites, but they are a forever favorite. I had a gift card, and these were on sale for like $7, and I had my eyes on them because overall craze. 
So yes, I'm gonna get the pajama overalls. And yes, I have been mocked by my mother like several times for wearing these. But you know what, mom? I'm gonna wear them anyway. So keep on mocking me. My next favorite this month, I love this thing so much. It is my mood ring. I was always a fan of mood rings as a child. And I was just looking for like some new funky jewelry to add into my collection. And I came across this mood ring for adults. It's really great. Um, I like it. It matches my style. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I just, I love myself a mood ring, guys. I love mood rings. My last three favorites, I do not physically have on me, but they are here in spirit. Um, my last three favorites for this month are the show Parenthood, Starbucks Refreshers, and Soy Milk. So yeah guys, that was my favorites video. I make videos every Tuesday and Friday, so if you like me, subscribe and you'll see my face twice a week. And last but not least, I rarely ever make favorites videos, but whenever I do, I always get comments that are something along the lines of, oh my god, loved your vid, that one product was so cute, I subscribed, will you subscribe back? And they obviously don't subscribe. I know if you subscribe or not because um, I have 240 subscribers, so it's pretty obvious if I get a subscriber or not. So if you're one of those people that's just shamelessly clicking on this video just so you can comment that and get an extra subscriber, please don't say that. I will subscribe to you based on your merit. Okay, this video is too long now. Mwah, kisses, and I will see you on Friday. Bye!